I'm gonna live on to make babies. I'm gonna live on for infamy. Come on, Mr. Popcorn Panda. Oh yeah, he's a popcorn panda. Watch him leap, watch him leap. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's a popcorn panda. Oh yeah, piddle, piddle on the spot, piddle on the spot, spot, spot. Then popcorn, popcorn, popcorn panda. He's a popcorn, popcorn, popcorn panda. Popcorn panda, popcorn panda, popcorn panda, popcorn panda, panda. Hello once again from the Tokyo Jungle, my Jade Warriors. Isaac here, and you are back with me for more of this little game here called Tokyo Jungle. Yes, guys, we're jumping back into survival mode today because we've had a request by an awesome Jade Warrior, the Lion King Rob Loxian. How are you going, girl? Good, uh, good to have another request from our most dedicated Tokyo Jungle watcher. Yes, we've had a request to play the Panda Bear Guys, the most fashionable animal of the entire animal kingdom yes more stylish than our gucci suit wearing office worker friend more more adorable than our well pruned and well maintained Pomeranians. more sexy than our long-tailed kangaroo and more irresistible than our polka dotted suit wearing skin wearing giraffe friend here yes oh they're all awesomely sexy individuals but nothing can compare to the well-groomed and Debonair black and white suit wearing panda bear. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight back into survival mode and see what the panda bear is all about. Do, 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 do. Sexual harassment panda. Any of you guys know that song? It's a classic. Classic song from South Park. God I love South Park. So yeah, how you all going today, guys? I'm really sorry it's been a couple of days since the last Tokyo Jungle. But you wouldn't believe it, guys. Soon after our 100 subscribers special video, after christening this awesome room, the Jade Vault, for all future Jade Hope VG content, you wouldn't believe it, but right below my feet, guys, in the apartment below me, they've just started renovations. They've started ripping up Freaking floorboards, nailing things into the walls, and ow, ow, ow! Getting attacked by a beagle in the middle of a monologue. My god, man, can I feast on your flesh? No, but that birdie can. Hey, that's my beagle meat. You get away from that. Come on, I dare you. I dare you, birdie. Come on. Oh, no, he's just circling me. He's threatening me. Come on. Oh, you're gonna sweep me? Really? Really? Really, little crew? Ah, oh chicken shit. He's just circling. He hasn't got the balls to come down here. Hey, what's wrong, little birdie? You got little bird-sized balls? You got little bird-sized balls up there? Do a chicken come down here and find? Yeah, I thought so. You better run away. Yeah. <laughs> Try and harass me for killing your girlfriend. Ha! <laughs> oh, actually, that's kind of mean. What am I turning into? This game is bringing out the most horrible, horrible side of me, guys. But I know you guys like to see that, so... Hold on to your hats, guys! It's gonna be a wild episode full of crazy shenanigans! And killing little sheep who, who are just moseying around the shop district, just minding their own business, not doing anything to hurt nobody! Well, ah, uh, isn't he adorable the way the panda bear rears up on his haunches like that? He's so adorable! I almost like a little doggy! But anyway! Yes! Construction downstairs, guys. I usually do my recording for the channel between... Uh-oh. Doggy in the bushes. I usually do my recording for the channel between a gym in the morning and work in the afternoon. Because work goes pretty late, guys. I don't usually have time to record once I get home. I'm so buggered from the day's worth of work that I just... I just want to do what our panda man just did. Just roar my guts out and fall asleep. That's about it. Uh, there's no fall asleep button. Fine. Oh, 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 there you go. I, I, I roar like a panda bear and then I just spin on the circle. Spin in a circle, guys, until I get so exhausted I just fall on the bed and fall asleep. But yeah, so, anyway. Usually do the recordings between 
between the gym and work. However, the freaking construction guys, the renovations have been stopping me from recording. Like, I can't hear myself think, let alone hear myself speak on one of my recordings. So, I, I do apologize, guys, and it's going to continue until the 12th, apparently. But that wouldn't stop me today, guys. Today is Sunday. It is my weekend. Uh, I do usually work on the Saturdays, but the Sunday is my day. So I'm doing my recording while I can, while there's a little glimmer of hope in this week full of freaking incessant noise making. And I'm going to make sure we all relax. We all relax, guys. Just take a load off. Just chill with me here today. You know, like it is my weekend. It's your weekend too right now, guys. And we're just going to enjoy the hell out of a playthrough of Tokyo Jungle. Yes, this panda bear, he's not going down without a fight. He's going to be hanging around for a while. And I better check the the, <laughs> the uh, challenge list if I ever want to actually get our tuxedo wearing friend. A second tuxedo. A, a tuxedo on top of his existing tuxedo. But I must admit, I like his more natural black and white tuxedo a lot more than anything a man-made creation can look like. But let's see here, we've got him out three more times. We've got to change generations once. Once! Our four-year-old panda bear, he's got to be changing the generations already. Which isn't actually a bad idea, guys, because I've heard that the panda bears, one of their major problems for survival is just the lack of interest when it comes to sex. They're just, they've got no motivation, guys. They have no will, no desire to get down and funky. Because, I guess, you know, all the, all the remaining females are just not attractive to, to our male panda bear here. So they're like having a real hard time getting them to, to, oh, to reproduce in the zoos. Because obviously they're all dirty, dirty, dirty women like that. Ew. Go clean yourself off. You think this rain would be enough to wash the dirty, dirty love heart hearts off that panda bear, but I guess not, guys. I guess not. So, if we're going to help these panda bears live for as long as they possibly can, we're going to have to get down and funky as soon as possible. So, yes, I know where... Well, you know, maybe panda bears are like, you know, dogs. When a dog, uh, what is it in dog years? One year is seven human, uh, no, one human year is seven dog years? Is that how it works? I don't really remember. So maybe that's how it works with panda bears. So we just reached five. That means we're already 35. Oh my God, we're already middle-aged. We have got to get ourselves matching. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to live this down. We're going to turn into the freaking 40-year-old virgin. Virgin, like in that movie. <laughs> I still haven't seen that, actually. I heard it's a classic, though. Good for a good chuckle. God, I feel like, guys, I feel like there are not enough good comedy movies these days. Not not the ones that really make you laugh. Like the Leslie Nielsen movies. I actually just watched um, Scary Movie last night. Man, I forgot how many... Like, there's some really good jokes in that movie. And I, there's just not enough movies like that today. The ones that really actually make you laugh out loud. It's just, it's not as common today as it used to be. Like, I'm a huge Monty Python fan. Uh, I'm a huge, like, uh, you know, airplane fan. Uh, any kind of movie that really makes you laugh. Like, the more recent, you know, well-known comedies like uh, The Hangover are good movies. Like, I'm definitely not bagging on them or anything, but they don't do it for me. They they just don't make me laugh out loud. I wish they did, but they, they just don't quite get there. They leave me smirking. I'm smiling. I'm having a good time, guys, but I'm just not laughing out loud like the classics. If you guys have any recommendations for really good laugh out loud comedies, you know, more modern ones that I might not have seen yet, please let me know in the comments below. I would do anything for a good laugh because I, I miss the good old days when Everything was just so silly, you just couldn't help but laugh. Like, it feels like everything today is, you know, a lot more serious. And, you know, I, I, I love a good story, but I, I don't need that serious and well-directed a story in a comedy, if you guys know what I mean. If you guys know what I mean, I just, I, I'm not, I don't have that higher standards. I'm, I'm a pretty low standard kind of guy, but I'm not that low! 
go get yourself cleaned up. Oh, come on. I've only got three years left before I turn, was it, 70. Jesus. 70 years old. I don't want to be 70 years old and still completely without experience. No. I'm going to take the next female with whatever, whatever freaking colored heart she has hanging on her head even if she's unwashed even if she's as dirty as a pizza pie ah i did i did promise didn't i guys i said i'd pick up whatever the hell was next but i'm not a man of my word no i want something at least average come on i know there was another one around the corner here they usually change you know, levels of cleanness one. Yes, average! I'll take average. Average will do fine. Yay! We got ourselves an average female. I'm not going to complain about that. All right, touch the thoroughbred boss, but we have no idea where that thoroughbred is going to reside, so we're just going to have to hang tight, guys. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to head to the Shibuya Station. Shibuya Station. Nest. Though I can't imagine it would be called a nest with a panda bear. I don't lay eggs. Pretty much a nest is, you know, the name of a mating mating area for something that lays the eggs. And I'm pretty sure that panda don't do that. But he is a freaking mighty fine jumper. Look at that. Oh, man. We can totally try out for the synchronized panda jumping Olympics. Holy crap. Who doesn't want to watch panda bears jumping in sync like that? Oh, that's fantastic. Come on, come with me, girl. Wee! Synchronized panda jumping Olympics. Isn't that awesome, girl? We're totally jumping in sync now. Isn't that great? Now, now, you stop jumping for a moment, and I'm just going to do one, one jump, one quick jump. You don't have to jump. I'm just going to do the jump in here. Here I go. And jump! Oh yeah, that, that was the jump I wanted. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, look! Our children! Our children have caught the jumping bug! Oh, our parents are so proud. They're so proud, guys. They're gonna cry! They're gonna cry, little panda bear tears! Oh my god! Oh, our panda bear is growing up and jumping out of the nest. Oh my god! So proud, I'm gonna cry. Ah. Let's have a look at the map. Where's all the food at? Where's all the food at? Not much in Dogendaka or the Shibuya Woods. All right, let's head to the shop district for now until until some freaking grass that we can actually gnaw on starts growing in the Shibuya area. Whoop! Look out, trash! Don't cut yourself, boys. On this ow, on this sharp tin ow. And broken glass. Ow, ow, ow. Man, that's why it's important to recycle, guys, and not just throw your trash out on the street. I hope all of my Jade Warriors recycle responsibly. You know, make sure all the plastics go in the burnables and all the paper go in the unburnables. Oh, I'm unresponsible. I shouldn't be telling you guys to do that. You guys know how to recycle. Make sure you do the right thing. Because, damn, if Hurricane Sandy and the likes are any sign, things are not looking too well for our freaking bright future plan that we had laid, guys. No, things are not looking very well at all. I do hope it's just one of those random freak hurricanes that only happen once in a blue moon. But, sadly, blue moons actually happen quite regularly. Just like Panda Slaughter. Yeah. Ah, so, mm, if they start to become more frequent, we could be in for a wild couple of years, guys. Like, we've already got enough problems. We've got war, but famine in far too many places in the 2012. We don't need to start worrying about the end of the world and Noah's Ark level destruction to the environment. That would just not, not help out so much, unfortunately. And speaking of global problems, what is this? Ah! What is this panda bear actually doing eating flowers? I know for a fact 
The panda bears, they don't eat those flowers or that grass. The panda bears, they only eat the bamboo. Bamboo comprises 99.9% .9 of their diet, so I have no idea what all this freaking eating of freaking un unworthy vegetation for our panda bear friend here is all about. He should not be stupid at that level. My god, boy, you are the freaking stylish. You're, you're, you're the, the supermodel. You are the Mila Jovovich of the animal kingdom. You are a, a model, a singer, a freaking superstar, my panda bear friend. You do not need to be eating those flowers off the street. You should be freaking, you know, spooning freaking little s tablespoons worth of bamboo shoots into your adorable lips. That's, that is all that is worthy of you. You should not be going to any other level. Oh. Speaking of levels, if we want to get up a few, we're going to have to check our requirements here. Shibuya Woods, oh crap, we've headed in the wrong directions, haven't we? And uh, intake another 2,500 calories. Sounds good! Alright, let's do this. We've got eight years to uh, get to the Shibuya Woods, touch ourselves up a thoroughbred. Thoroughbred? It'll probably be a horse. A thoroughbred boss and... Inhale a ton more calories. I must admit, you know, I know Panda, I know Panda that you're the supermodel of the animal kingdom, but that doesn't mean you should be anorexic. You should be packing on those pounds, you should be eating as many calories as you can, because you're going to be raising some babies! Son, you're going to be eating, you're going to be raising those babies. Yeah, I know, I know you're happy. I know you're happy that you're going to be having babies in the future, but just chill. Chill for now. Chill for now. We'll get to that before too long. And I don't know why your brother is uh, jumping for joy. They don't get to have babies. Because the game doesn't allow it, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would, I'd be all for it. Why can't a panda bear go down this hole? He should be able to go down this hole. I wish all the DLC animals can go, could go down into the sewers, but it seems like they're all blocked out, which completely sucks. Well, that's been true for all the other DLC characters today, but while we're in the Shibuya Woods, we'll have a quick look to see if, if in fact, our panda bear friend here can get into the sewers, but I imagine not. We might be lucky. We shouldn't smash our eggs before they hatch, as it were. We should give... Give Lady Luck a chance to smile on us and allow us to escape like years 30 through 40. Those acid rain years by entering the sewers below Shibuya Station. Actually, speaking of raincoats and hiding from bad weather, we should get ourselves into some sexy little duds. Seeing as our panda bear is a supermodel, we need only wear the best. So let's see what we've got here. Hmm. I like it. I love it. I... Can we wear the... No! Mm. Actually, just wait. I'm going to take off the headphones. I still can't wear it! Damn you, fate! Ah, okay, what else we got? Uh, let's just... Yeah, there we go. He's styling. A panda bear. He's ready for the town. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm Oh, and he found some flowers. Maybe he can stick some behind his ear. Yeah. But yeah, the sun visor that our parent bear is wearing is very important because I'm from Australia. Guys, if you ever go to Australia, you had better apply the sunscreen. You need a lot of sunscreen if you're going to be living or staying or even visiting Australia because damn sun, those ozone holes can cause a lot of damage to your skin if you don't apply the sunscreen. And you can't ignore the fact that whatever the hell caused them, whatever created those freaking holes in that ozone layer, it can't be good. Man-made or otherwise, we've got to do something about it. And it all starts with killing this chicken! There we go. <laughs> and the final fiddle point here in Dogenbaka. Beautiful. That nest will be there for an emergency. Oh, Panoramian attack! 
Wanna rain me up in the dark and here comes the rain, it's gonna rain on me today. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a sun visor in the rain, wearing a sun visor in the rain. Killing Pomeranians near a pool of water, probably gonna fill the pool with their blood. Oh yeah, band of bears on the attack in the rain while wearing a sun visor. Makes no sense, neither does he wearing a backpack on his back. Oh yeah, pound the bear, styling it up in post apocalyptic Tokyo. Kill it by the rain in the hymns while he wears a sun visor in the rain. Sun visor in the rain. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fun rain in. Oh shit, chicken! Chicken's killing me! Ah, run away from the chicken! Run away from the chicken! Oh wait, I'm five thousand times the size of him! Ah! Did, I, did the game just tell me to evade that chicken? You have got to be kidding me! Ah, oh, Little squirt causing me so much freaking trouble and wasting my time. Alright, I gotta get back on the freaking eating of the calories. I'm running out of freaking... Oh, 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 oh! I'm running out of time here and I'm worried exactly where that thoroughbred boss is gonna be. I gotta get a move on, because we don't have much time left. Come on, eat the tomato! Thank you. Oh, it's because I said it wrong. I should have said tomato. Tomato. Eat the tomato, panda bear. Eat the tomato. I, I can't even remember which is, <laughs> which is <laughs> Australian English and which is Japanese. But uh, Japanese American. Ah, living in Australia, guys, we have constant you know influences from america and britain so you know on the tv we have the british news and the american news programs we have the british dramas and the american dramas so you know growing up you, you get confused as to what the hell is actually british and which is american english because it all sounds like australian to me honest to god it sounds like australian oh, oh yeah I'm going to try speaking in a bit of an Australian accent, guys. Like, I know I'm Australian, but I often get the complaints or the points that I'm not actually sounding very Australian. Even at the best times, people just complain the fact that I don't sound Australian at all. So I'm going to try and sound Australian for the next three seconds. Throw a shrimp on the barbie, son. How was that? Did that sound Australian? I don't know what my accent is. All I know is my accent is probably TV English. That's it. <laughs> All my influences came from TV. Oh, oh, where's the thoroughbred? I saw him around here somewhere. Yes, thoroughbred boss! Yay! Why are you running away, son? I wasn't going to hurt you. I just had to touch you, fill you up. Oh, maybe I touched him in a bad place. Sorry, Mr. Thoroughbred. I didn't mean to sexually harass you. But seeing as your horse, uh, I guess it's, I didn't mean to horsily arrest you. It was purely unintentional. Oh, he's a horse. I guess I should use horse and ease. Yeah, that's horse and ease for, I, I'm sorry for touching you in a bad spot. You know, I, I learned horse in the stables as a kid. When I used to ride the horses to work, do, do, do motion down the road, whip at my side, you know, massive knife in the other pocket. What do you guys think of Australian? What is the current image of Australia today in your country? Wherever you guys are watching this from, I would love to know how you view Australians. Because I know in the 90s it was all about Crocodile Dundee, the, the Cobra hats and the, the big knives. <laughs> And I can still say to people that I ride kangaroos to, to school and to work and they will believe me until I start laughing my ass off at their ignorance. But you know, it's not just Australia now. There's so many stereotypes out there. Come on, please be enough. Eat enough food. How is that not enough food? 372 more calories? Come on, game. Give me a break. Panda bear. Why can't you move your ass, boy? God damn it. I missed out on the D-level challenges. D-level! Ah! 
This game hates me, I swear. But luckily, my Jade Warriors love me. So it's all worthwhile. It makes up for it. As long as I can get these B-level challenges, that's all that matters. And I can do that. Just defeat 20 animals, eat a piece of fruit. You know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So I'm guessing a whole bushel full of apples will keep a panda bear doctor away. Is that how it works? I don't know. We'll find out when we get to the B-level challenges. And we've got to head for the Shibuya suburbs. Says, says, says. Where is the Alley of Delight? In the Shibuya Shop District. Alright, so we might as well just start heading on over, gang. Heading on over to the Shibuya suburbs because... <coughs> damn, that sucks missing out on a challenge rank. Especially so close. We only had 300 more calories. Yes, game, I figured that out already. I appreciate you reminding me. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, game. You, you're so kind. So kind indeed. Chicken! Yeah! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Rust myself at your freaking subtle tender flesh and well pruned ass. Hey, Mr. Thoroughbred Boss! Oh, he's running away from me again. He knew I was getting the itch. <laughs> he knew I was getting the urge to thrust myself at him. Claws bad. But anyway, guys. Well, oh, we should put on a raincoat, shouldn't we? I don't think we really need that backpack right now. It's just wasting the life on the poor thing. But we definitely need ourselves a raincoat. And don't tell me, ah, oh, we don't have a raincoat. Ah, oh, crap doodle. Alright. Let's just keep on heading for the Shibuya Shop District and hope the toxicity doesn't kill us on the way. Well, well, actually, as I promised, we should just go and double check that our panda bear friend here can't enter the subways. Because if he can, we are getting the hell out of this rain ASAP. Right after picking up that present. Because, you know, finders, keepers, losers, weepers, it's mine! Yes! Ah, oh, medicine. Still, medicine, she'll be coming into handy. She'll be coming into handy when we're dying of the AIDS. Yes, well, we're going to die of the AIDS soon, most likely. Our toxicity is getting so freaking high. Oh, 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 look at that! A sexy female! Sexy female who's not satisfied with my level. You stuck up bitch. Fine. Are there any more plants around here? I think I only need like 300 more frickin' calories. Stone the frickin' clothes. There's a little bit of Australian for you guys. Stone the frickin' crows. Classic Australian. I'm gonna quickly go and see if there's some food down here in this underpass. Hello, is there any food? No, there isn't. I just wasted about two minutes. God damn it! <laughs> ah, freaking stuck up female bitch, and my toxicity is nearly maxed out. Ah. All right, let's go double check and see if this sewer is open because the bridge is there, which is surprising. Because usually for the DLC characters, that bridge ain't even there. It's usually just completely absent. <gasps> Can we go into the sewers? We can go into the sewers, guys! Oh, that is so awesome! Oh, that is fan freaking tastic! Oh, hell yes! Let's toggle the sewers on. We don't have so much food, so we're gonna play this safe, guys. <coughs> Let's see here. Is there any food just really close? We just. I, I don't wanna go too far. That female was prime, and I wanted to get laid. I wanted to get laid with her because she was a prime female. Oh shit, big dogs. Big dogs in front of the mushrooms. It must be done! Kill the doggies! Even though I can't see them. See, I'm so late. I'm so late. I don't even have to see the doggies. They can hide behind the floor. It don't matter. I'm so late. I'll kick their ass anyways. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know it. You know it. It's all because of Toto. He's so awesome. He's our little guardian angel, the old Toto. Alright, we're going to have to pass up on that prime female for now, I guess. Which sucks, but what what you going to do about it? Ah! Tell you what you're going to do about it. You're going to jump through this hole! Oh, yeah! There you go, panda bear! He's not a panda bear, he's a panda bear! He's a panda bear! Yeah, he ain't no sissy little panda bear, he's a panda bear! 
That's a little panda bear. He's so adorable in his sun visor in the sewers. He don't need that sun visor right here, right now, but he's wearing it anyway. Hell yeah, he is. God damn, I hope there's some animals in this sewer to kick the ass off because we ain't seen so many so far. Oh, 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 I thought there was a challenge. Oh, that's the, the B level challenges. All right, we're still laughing. We're still laughing. Oh, God, even if we pass up on this entire C challenge level, guys, I don't think it's going to matter either way. So let's just chill out, relax, have some fun. Because, man, chasing those challenges can be a freaking stressful day sometimes, gangs. I swear to you. It's crazy. 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 Why is there two cheaters below me? They're cheating. God damn it. Oh, good. They're falling asleep. All right. We're going to make this jump. Otherwise, we're probably going to die. Yes. Oh, Leet, Leet, we are the parkour and panda, guys. We're the parkour and panda. There ain't no one that can freaking parkour better than us, son. No way, no how. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh oh, but there's probably a lot of animals that can swim better than us. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, oh we made it. We made it across the purple water. By the way, I do not advise anyone to drink purple water. Unless it's grapefruit. No, not even grapefruit. No, grapefruit shouldn't be purple. <laughs> Unless it's grape. Yeah. Whew. I was worried that water might be too deep. Bunny rabbits, bunny rabbits. Why isn't the panda bear a herbivore right now? Oh, look, we made it, guys. We made it to the Shibuya station exit. Look, we can exit. Yay! We made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's raining. Oh, poo. You hate me, don't you, game? You just hate me. You hate me so much. <laughs> oh, it's one of those abusive relationships. I should just forget about this game and move on. Move on with my life, but I just can't. It just keeps pulling me back in with its beautiful eyes and sexy gameplay. And, and just so, so lovely to touch controls. It's just, it's just driving me crazy, crazy. Oh, back into the sewers. I must hide from my shame in the depths of the the darkest points of Shibuya in the purple water. Where's the deep end of this pond? I just want to kill myself. <laughs> well, well, it looks like starvation's going to do the job for me anyway. Or toxicity. One of the two. Uh, I better pop some pills, otherwise I'm, I'm a done-for dodo. Uh, there we go. I don't want to end up like the dodo. I'm a parkour and panda bear, so I ain't freaking dying from no toxicity, damn it. I'm gonna live on to make babies. I'm gonna live on for infamy. Come on, Mr. Parkour and Panda. Oh yeah, he's a parkour and panda. Watch him leap, watch him leap. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's a parkour and panda. Oh yeah, piddle, piddle on the spot. Piddle on the start, but, but, then Parker, Parker, Parker and Panda. He's a Parker and Parker and Parker and Panda. Parker and Panda, Parker and Panda, Parker and Panda, Parker and Panda, Panda. Yeah. Oh my god, I love this game. It's so awesome to hang out with you guys and just chill and have some fun, guys. I tell you, after a long week of work, there's nothing I want more than just to play this with my awesome, awesome Jade Warriors. I love you guys so, so much. Alright, let's see here. Come on, Parker and Panda. It's time for you to squeeze your fat ass through this ugh, manhole. Whoa, look out for the cow. Is it still raining up here? Ah, oh, I'm gonna die again. Ah, oh, gotta use some discount pet food. I didn't want to, I didn't want to come to that. Shit, I'm gonna die of old age. My hunger bar, she's running out. This is not looking pretty, guys. But it's okay. It's okay. It looks like there's mainly herbivores in this zone. So hopefully, if we're lucky, if we play our cards right, we might be able to... Ah! To survive long enough to uh, piddle everywhere oh my god do not get the attention of that big ass freaking cat look at that front ass it's his ass gonna get jumped on <laughs> oh i played my hand i played my bluff and it freaking paid off guys we actually killed ourselves a lion now that is what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah 
All right. Oh, another line. Another line. Come on, come on, come on. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! There's only enough room for one adorable ass in this city, son. You better move on. Oh shit, baby, baby lions. They're all pissed off about me killing their mama. Come here, little lion. I just want to say sorry. Sorry that I let you live. Ah. Which I didn't. <laughs> oh my god, I'm turning evil again. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness gracious, I need food. Alright, to hell with you little lion cubs. I'm going to munch on this grass. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, here comes the end of the sea. Level challenges, guys, and we haven't completed a single one. <laughs> Change generations two times. Are you insane, game? Are you insane? <laughs> anyway. We're set, we're primed, guys, to complete ourselves the B-level challenges, so just hold on. We're gonna manage it. We're gonna freaking pull this off. Yes! Thank you, like Lyacons, for not attacking me while I was piddling. I appreciate it immensely. You allowed me... Ah! Oh, shit. My, my hun... Oh, crap. My hunger is at zero. Zero of zero, so shiver my timbers. We gotta move our ass. Uh, that's not gonna do any good. Come on, Mr. Panda Bear. Come on, Mr. Panda Bear. Eat those mushies. Eat those mushies. Come on, you gotta get some life in your son. Ah, uh, hold stamina loss. Ah, uh, go, run, and piddle, and piddle. No, uh, eat my brother. Eat my brother while I piddle here. Eat my brother while I piddle here. Go, go, he's gonna die from old age. He has one life left, and I don't think there's anything I can do about it, guys. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm a dead panda bear. Dead sexual harassment panda bear. <laughs> Why do you hate me, life? Why? <laughs> I wanted that freaking item for completing the B level challenges. Nah. Damn it, guys. But don't you worry, I'm gonna get back into this game and get those socks that were promised me in those B-level challenges. You just wait. You hold on to your horses. Keep them neighing and ready to rock because I'm going to get them. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the very next episode. Thank you for watching me <laughs> flounder around like an idiot on screen, guys. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Uh, yeah, always, always enjoy making videos for you guys. Thank you for putting up with my craziness. But that's the way I am. Take me or leave me. Speaking of animals, <laughs> Isn't that an awesome shirt? I love that shirt. It's freaking sweet. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have, uh, have a great day, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you watched this far. I'd love to know. Uh, please answer today's questions. I forget what they were. They were very smir spur of the moment questions. But yeah, say something in the comments below. I'd love to reply. Until next episode, until next episode, guys. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, oji kai mo o tanashi ni. Jane, kyo tsukete. Matashi no. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.